In this video, I will show you how I configured my 4K TV as my computer monitor. I'm using the TCL 43-inch 43S425 Roku TV. So this is the TV. I will be unboxing it now. It has a 4K resolution, 3840 times 2160. It has HDR, 120Hz, which is very good. And it has three HDMI ports and an audio jack output, which is very good also for the monitor. You can find the link for the TV in the description if you care to check it out. It comes, of course, with the power cable, with a remote control, and these are the stands. And the screws to attach the stands. And this is also a composite cable if you want to hook like a video audio device to it. And it also has a manual and batteries for the remote control. As you see here, it has all these ports. It has a USB port, Ethernet port, 3 HDMI, and one is ARC. It has also a jack output, as you see, optical output, composite input. And these are the stands. This is where they go. They have pins, so you cannot put them wrong. Here I'm attaching the stands. Each one attaches with two screws. So the stands, they have a long uh, side and a short side. I decided to put the long side in front so that to push the TV as much as I can to the wall far from me. And these are the pins I was talking about. The stands go into the pins. They are facing a little bit outward, if you see the stand so that the TV is very stable. So this is a TV assembled. I put it behind my 24 inch ViewSonic monitor and the difference is huge. I just put it here for you to compare it. I hooked it with an HDMI cable. You can also find a link to the HDMI cable in the description. Make sure to use a cable that is 4K compatible. At first start, the TV will ask you what is hooked to the HDMI ARC3. Just specify that it's a computer. And it's all done now. There are still some settings we need to do to make things easier. So go to settings, system, and then go to power. Power on and choose computer. This way, each time, you turn off the TV and then you turn it back on, it will directly go to the computer. So I'm gonna show you how it is now. I'm turning off the TV as you see, and then turning it back on and it will go directly to the computer. This way you don't have to select computer each time you start the TV. Another setting you should do if you are a gamer, press on the star on your menu and go to the picture settings and choose game mode on. This way the lag on the TV will be much less than if the game mode is off. When you first log into Windows after setting up the TV, it will detect that it is a 4K TV and it will adjust the resolution accordingly, but it will put the scaling as you see at 300%, which is very big. So here I'm gonna adjust it to 150% which is very good. 100% is very small. I found out that 150% is the best compromise. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit how big the screen is. I'm gonna open four edge windows and you see that you can comfortably work with four windows open and the information displays comfortably in all the windows that you have open on your screen. The reason I chose to purchase a TV and use it as a computer monitor is mostly the price. You see here, this TV is at $229, whereas the cheapest 32-inch 4K monitor is at $341. 
As a summary, I say that this is a very good, affordable 4K large monitor. It has multiple inputs, has gaming mode, good integrated speakers, and a very good and crisp display. For the cons, it needs a large desk because otherwise it will be like very close to you. It doesn't have picture in picture and picture by picture, and you need the remote control to turn it on. That was it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you think this video might help others, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching.